I finally have some time to start working on a truck camper. It's a pretty hot day today. I got all the windows open and all the vents. When you have these little things, get some airflow in. And I also got a fan. <laughs> but yeah, that's the current situation of the camper. It's pretty dark up there because that's the area that was leaking so I put a tarp over it. What I'm going to try to do today is remove that piece of plywood and foam because I'm sure if there's water damage everywhere that there would be water damage under there also. I'm going to try to remove this. I don't know how it will go. I'm hoping it's not screwed in from the outside. I like these gloves. You can get them either at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're really thin and this is matched so your hand can still breathe. But it's like rubber so it protects your hand and gives you a good grip and they're thin so you can actually like do stuff in them. They're not like bulky like some gloves are. I'm thinking this is probably glued down because I unscrewed all these screws here and now I'm getting more screws. So probably get yeah, hammer and crowbar and try to make it off. I'm doing is just using this multi-tool and I'll cut out like some sections and see if the water damage is just there or if it stops here. If it stops here then maybe I'm not gonna rip this out, maybe I'll just replace that. I'm just going to cut out little pieces with a multi-tool and rip it off. That seems to be the easiest. And you need to be careful not to cut these. I don't know if they're like two by ones or something. Good thing that I started to remove this because that's all completely rotted plywood underneath. And from the outside, it doesn't look like it's bad. So make sure to check. Don't just look outside because from the outside it looks good. But underneath is completely black and rotted. So if I didn't remove this, that would have stayed in the camper. I'm still ripping it off and it's all water damage. And the thing is on the top it looks perfectly fine but underneath is completely run. to take out than it looks because everything is glued together like the foam is glued to the plywood on the bottom and then it's glued to the plywood on top. Looks like this side is a little bit better. I'm still gonna replace everything. Out demolition is so much easier than this. You just get up nice with hammer, smash it, break it up, that's it. Here you have to be careful, this whole thing is like made out of a little stuff. I'm just here that everything just gonna break. I'm just slowly ripping everything out. It has these little maybe like two by ones or something. Oh that's wrong. It went all the way here. This insulation 
it is glued down to that plywood and then the top plywood glued to the insulation is all glued together. So it's taken forever. I have to dig away on it piece by piece so it sucks. If it's all a little bit of water damage that you can see know that there will be a lot of water damage once you start taking stuff apart. Just gotta keep working on it. But yeah, this will definitely set us back on time. It's hot in here. I don't know how people travel, vans or cars or stuff like that, without having an uh, air conditioner. I don't know how they do it. I'm like, completely sweating around here foot. Ripping off about the walls. I figured before I remove all the floor, I'll rip this off so I can walk. Because once you remove the floor, you can't walk on it anymore because the aluminum sheeting will just bend. I'm really glad and happy that all of that is not rotten and it looks really good. There's some rot down here. I'll have to fix that up and down here. But I'm just really happy all that at least is really is good. Hopefully that corner will be good also. I'm still working on clearing this floor out. It's a lot harder than I expected. So there's like a piece of plywood on the bottom right here and it goes right here I already removed it and then on top goes this foam which is glued to the plywood and then on top is another sheet of plywood which is glued to the foam so everything's glued together and everything needs to be removed except these because this is the frame that's holding everything together so it's taking forever what I'm doing is out, like a little clear and then I break it out and then I like dig at it a little bit to get all these like clean cuts like this what I do is I stick the crowbar underneath right here then cut it with the multi-tool like this and you have to stick like just go along the crowbar because you don't want to cut the aluminum so I just put a crowbar underneath just so it'll hit the crowbar and not cut the aluminum side. This is a lot <laughs> more than I thought. I thought this would be a fast, easy job. But yeah, it's coming along. I have this all cleared out. And the areas where it's like black or it's run, the foam, the glue doesn't stick anymore, so the foam comes off easier. But in the, like, like this comes off easy because this is run already. But if it's not run, then it's really hard to get the foam off. Okay. Looks like this is run too. So the wire got really far. I'm just really glad I took this floor off when looking at it, it was completely lit, like perfect. You couldn't see any wire damage at all. And make sure to wear gloves. I've been wearing gloves and I just went inside the house and I forgot to put them on and I started working and two seconds later I already got my fingers scratched off already. So make sure you wear gloves and knee pads and a mask would be good too.